In the UK, Boris Johnson has steamrolled to victory in the first round of the race to be the next prime minister. He's not there yet. Conservative MPs held their first ballot for the new party leader a few hours ago. To put it in plain English, Johnson left the other candidates in the dust. Three contenders are now out of the race, while seven others are headed into a second round of voting next week. Let's get Phil Black, who's in the studio. Uh, Boris Johnson is way ahead of the others, isn't way he? Way ahead, yeah. yeah. 114 votes. He's so far ahead that if he maintains this level of support, he's pretty much guaranteed of ending up in the final two, which are then voted on by the broader party membership. Uh, but the closest to him was Jeremy Hunt, the current Foreign Secretary. He got 43%, uh, 43 votes, I, I should say, and that's still not even half of what Johnson got in total, and there's a cluster of others down in the 20s. Is the assumption that people are making now that Johnson just has it in the bag, basically? Well, at least in terms of getting to that final two, it would seem to be very likely. Difficult to see how even he, a politician with a reputation for occasional self-harm, could do that much damage to lose yeah. that much support in just the next week or so. But after that, remember, it goes to the party membership. He's got to go out, he's got to campaign, he's got to meet with people, he's got to mix with journalists, and there's a greater chance there that he could stumble at some point. Well, he's stumbled before. He's made gaffes. He's told untruths during the referendum campaign. I was reading up on Boris Johnson, and he has a career that is dotted with uh, these issues of fabricating. Sometimes some people would say lying. I mean, he was fired from his first job for fabricating a quote at the Times of London. I mean, why would the Conservative Party at this stage back him? Well, it's that it's just the enigma of Boris Johnson, in a sense. You're absolutely right. He's someone who has been proven to be unreliable, to be controversial, to say things that are offensive, even considered to be racist. Uh, and yet... If you're Muslim, you would call them racist. Indeed, you would. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. No doubt. Yeah. So, the, and, and yet he has this charisma mm -hmm. that still does seem to attract wide support. And on top of that, when it, on the Brexit issue, which is so defining for the Conservative Party, he has dug himself in and built a line which has built a great deal of credibility with the with the with the party membership and so that's what he's been working on for some time remember he quit cabinet a while back over over brexit he's been sniping theresa may from the sidelines ever since he's been working on this leadership run for a long time and it, and it's paying off why does he how does he say because i i listened to his news conference uh when he announced the official launch of his bid he doesn't give specifics on how he thinks he's going to strike a deal with the EU that has been quite clear in saying, we gave you guys kind of the best we got. Uh, what is this magic formula potion that you have? Uh, you know, yeah, you're gonna, absolutely right. That's going to get yeah. this deal through he, Parliament. He has not revealed his magic potion yeah. for, for, for fixing the Brexit mess. Because, of course, the problem hasn't changed. The EU's conditions and terms, their, their approach to this hasn't changed. What does matter in what resonates with Conservative Party members mm -hmm. is that Boris Johnson says, come October 31st, the next deadline in all of this, we're leaving one way or another. There are people in the party, though, and there are analysts mm -hmm. who say, maybe he won't live up to this. Maybe this is just his line right now, and possibly when it comes down to it, he is someone that down the track that could extend, that could revisit Theresa May's mm -hmm. much maligned Brexit withdrawal deal. There are all sorts of possibilities down the track, but at the moment, he's a hard Brexiteer, and he says we're out on October the 31st, and that's what the party wants to hear.